Hi guys, welcome to my channel, it's Nerdbird here. Please try to disregard the alien sized headset on my head. Um, headphones, um, headphones, headset, headset on my head. Um, it's been a long time since I've made any videos, so I'm going to make loads of mistakes. This is a non cut kind of video because this is a new segment that I want to do. At the moment, I'm focusing on learning Spanish. I have been doing this for a number of years now, and actually, it's taken me so much time to get confident enough to say, okay, look, this is what you're doing, and when you meet a Spanish person, you're going to use this opportunity. I'm still not even at that that stage yet. Um, I'm very nervous, uh, not confident enough to speak, and so what I was hoping, I've done Duolingo before, but not really with a goal set in mind. And I do Spanish lessons by myself, um, using YouTube, using videos, music, books, everything that I could possibly get my hands on as resources to help me learn. And I also have a number of friends who speak Spanish, and I'm hoping to continue to utilize them too, but when I get more confident. I have a foundation knowledge of Spanish, I should let you know this right from the beginning that I hope to, to get into it really, really quickly. We can accomplish quite a lot even in this video. We're going to set it up, we're going to log in, we're going to create an account with Duolingo. So right now I'm just going to be posting the video basically with minor editing if any. Um, but eventually what I will do is spend more time on the editing side of it because I think it will be a bit more useful for those watching to perhaps for me to edit it, zoom in in a few different places. <clears throat> I just want to talk to you about what my goals are. So when we always talked about having the grammar retention, um, being a bit more confident in speaking, so social structures, and to be able to write, so to get the accents in the right places and stuff like that. That's what we're really focusing on on Duolingo. But I'm hoping that to learn a lot more as well and to just build um, in, in, in my knowledge of Spanish. So I've actually got my PC front of me, I'm not sure if you keep seeing that, I keep looking at it, but I'm getting ready to set up, we're ready to go. I want to, you know, get started with a new account um, under Nerdbird Online and we're going to do this together as a journey. So what I would love for you to do, if you haven't already, is hit that subscribe button. If you're trying to learn Spanish too, um, perhaps you can use these uh, videos in order to do this alongside someone. I'll give a bit of time in between each thing so that we can both think about it as well. And if you put in the comments below what language it is that you're using and um, learning and if you're using Duolingo to do so or if you're just watching this because you've been thinking about using Duolingo and you're just you know following along the journey to see how it goes uh comment below and let me know sort of what your views are why you're here like why you're watching it there must be a reason why you're interested in either Spanish or Duolingo let me know why so right now I'm going to give you a little view of my desktop so that you can see what I'm doing now so here we go so let's get started. We're going to sign up with a whole new thing. If at any point I need to put in some personal details, I will freeze the screen so that you guys obviously are not looking at that. But um, mostly you're going to you're going to see the whole the whole thing. Spanish is actually like seems to be the highest one with over 20 million active learners. Mad. I want to learn Spanish for sure. Um, so great now choose a daily goal. So casual five minutes per day, regular ten minutes per day, serious fifteen minutes per day, or insane twenty minutes per day. We're gonna go for the insane because we're gonna do more than that. Um, we really want to use this to develop our Spanish, not as a casual thing, but we're taking it seriously. <clears throat> uh, it should just connect straight away because I'm on the PC, so we'll see. Yep, straight. Um, do you already know some Spanish? Try this placement test or are you new to Spanish? Start with the basics. Now, I'm not new to Spanish. I already explained this, but we're going to start at the basics just because I do not want to be overconfident with my, my language knowledge. I want to go in there straight with exactly, you know, what it is that I'm, I'm you know, trying to attempt with or whatever. Um, I want to have a look at the profile first though, because, um, Oh, this is my profile, sorry. I'm just like pressing buttons, not even paying attention. We want to change the thing and stuff like that, so we're going to do that now. Um, my username is now going to be Nerd Bird. Just leave it at that. Um, we need to verify the email address, which is exactly what we're going to do now as well. Um, Nerd Bird, all right, we'll just go for Nerd Bird online then, since we're keeping it keeping it strictly for the YouTube. This is all for the YouTube um, so I can keep track of my journey of language learning as well. Um, so let's go back to the profile. <clears throat> so I just want to have a look at all the achievements and stuff like that. 
This might be really boring for some people who wanted to go straight into a video, um, but this is a, uh, an intro video where we start up, we get past the basics, and then from here on it should be a little bit like more, um, gonna be a bit more hard for me or challenging for me. So that's why I'm taking my time doing this because I know that we can speed through the first couple of sections. Um, well, I'm hoping so. <laughs> I say that now, but maybe I'm like overestimating myself. Um, maintain a two-day streak, complete 10 skills of a course, follow three friends, earn 50 XP in a day, spend 20 lingots, complete a lesson of practice before 8am, do one lesson of practice without getting anything wrong. We're going to hit most of those soon, very soon. Okay, because I'm a really competitive person, I think that's another thing that I heard that someone said, if you're a competitive person, two lingo actually is really good for you. But just so you know, we're on Spanish level one, the next level is 60 XP, and our total XP at the moment is zero. So every time we do a video, we're going to we're going to hit up on that little section there so we can read for our process, our progress, and then start the start the, the lesson. Because like all these lessons, they are lessons. Um, okay, and of course, if you want to follow me, go ahead and do so. Um, I'll follow you right back. So Nerd Bird Online, we can um, use each other as like, you know, to help each other, motivate each other. So, And I heard that there's like a discussion board and stuff like that on the PC version, so I'm looking forward to doing that. So now we're going back down to um, the home. Um, like I said, we're going to start right from the beginning. We're not going to do a placement test. Um, select the word for the girl. La niña. La niña. Okay. We're going to, like I said, we're going to try and really La get mujer. through this. I'm not going to spend much time talking about my thought process on these ones. Hopefully um, you're watching the screen and you're going through it as well. Or, you know, you can see the, the, the mind process. But I'm just going to skip through them. Because what we want to do is get... To the next level so that in the next video we can go straight into the language learning okay la niña la niña apparently you can use your keyboard for some of this but we'll, we'll figure it out sooner or later select the word for the boy el niño man. el hombre el hombre la mujer el hombre la mujer the man the woman Soy el niño. Soy el niño. I am the boy. Completed. Cool. So we're just going to keep going. We're going to complete all the lessons. Es una manzana. It is an apple. Oh. Oh, okay, this is, okay, so I watched somebody do this, right, and he knew the answers, and he said the answers, but when he was actually doing it, you're watching him, you're like, you're clicking the wrong button, and now I understand. So where I was like, we're going to roll through this and get no mistakes, we will get mistakes, not because you necessarily don't know them, but because your brain told you to go faster and doesn't even pay attention. It's like, oh, I know this one, and it doesn't pay attention, but this is the problem that I'm having. The confidence level of I, th I, I should know this and then it's like but you're not paying attention enough to retain the right information you know it but you get it wrong because you're not allowing yourself to make these kind of mistakes one and two when you do make those mistakes paying attention to it and and allowing that thought process to go a bit quicker because if i saw this is um an apple or it is an apple in english straight away singular would come to my head but now i just saw apple and press apples see what i'm saying I wanted to explain that little bit there, so we, we know Soy the answer niño. to that one. Eres una mujer. It's fine. So I'm a boy. I uh, uh where's Am? Um, a boy. You are a woman. I'm a boy. You are a woman. Tú eres un hombre. Ella es una mujer. Oh, that's what that means. So you can use the thingy, but for the first couple of ones, we're going to just use those. And then later on, we're going to challenge ourselves by using the keyboard. Okay? Ella es una manzana.
Es una manzana. Okay, I'm a bit annoyed that we made that mistake though. Because I wasn't paying El attention pan. properly. La leche. La leche. Yo como, usted come, ella come. I eat. Yo como, usted come, you eat. Ella come, she eats. Select the word for the water. El, El agua. agua. El agua. Comes manzanas. Uh, you eat apples. Usted come, yo usted bebo. Come, yo bebo. You eat, I drink. Um, some people didn't understand. Like one of the, I watched someone do this, uh, this process and this this journey as well. And um, he was like, "Why that doesn't even make sense in English?" And another thing that I had to learn is you have to take yourself out of the English thinking and into the Spanish thinking, which was really, it still is so hard for me to do because I'm like, I wouldn't say that in a sentence. But the point of this sentence is not to make sense; it's to teach you something. So, usted come, um, so that you can understand. It's so you eat, but then when you're saying I do something else. If you see that they're using a common thing, it's adding O on the end. So it's like you can pick up some things if you pay attention to it. But they're not showing you the sentences because that's what you're going to say in, the, in those moments, but just that you can pick up on some sort of similarities and find straight away when you look at the words, you know, if it's do you, there's an S usually on the end. If it's he or she, it's usually just an E on the end. And if it's an I sort of situation, then it's an O. But it, obviously not always, but yeah. It's fun. All right. Good. So we've, we've, what we can do now is go into phrases and travel. One person said that you should go between travel, phrases, travel, phrases, travel, phrases, until you complete both. I'm not too sure. I'm going to see how it feels to so just, I like order. So, I don't know. The good night is this one. Buenas Mucho noches. gusto. Mucho gusto. So nice to meet you. Buenas noches. Buenos noches. Buenos noches. Buenos días. Buenos días. Uh, good morning. Hola. Buenos días. Good night. Buenas noches. Hola. Gracias. The way I remember for the other one, sorry, buenas noches, is that noches sounds like it should be masculine, buenos, but it's actually buenas. And then buenos días sounds like it should be buenas días, but it's not, it's the opposite. So that's how I remember. If días sounds feminine, but it's masculine, then noches sounds masculine, but it's feminine. That's the only way I remember whether it's buenos or buenas. And even then I still get it wrong. So be prepared, I'm going to get it wrong soon. Hello. Thanks. Hola, gracias. Right, we're moving on to... I'm going to keep going. Lo siento. To, lo siento. Um, I am sorry. El pan, por favor. The bread, please. Agua, por favor. Agua, por favor. Perdón. Perdón. Pardon? Because I know it can mean excuse me, but there's no me here, so I'm going to say... Perdón. Pardon. De nada. De nada, no problem. Or you're welcome, yeah. You are welcome. De nada is also like no problem. De nada. De nada. Nada, gracias. Um, nothing. Thanks. Awesome. Overachiever. We'll go into lesson three. The word for Spanish is Español. Español. Sí, disculpe. Yes, excuse me. Gracias. ¿Hablas Español? Thank you. Do you speak Spanish? 
Tú no hablas español. Tú no hablas español. ¿Sabes? ¿Tú hablas inglés? ¿Tú hablas inglés? Do you speak? Do you speak English? No hablo inglés. Hablo español. I do not speak English. I speak Spanish. Are you English? Tú eres inglés. Good stuff. Got a few awards there. So now it's like level one, and you got three lessons in level one. We're gonna get all level ones, then go back and get level twos or whatever the next levels are in each of them. Do you get what I mean? So let's do travel. Select the word for the phone. El teléfono. Select the word for suitcase. La maleta. La maleta. El pasaporte. The passport. El pasaporte. El taxi. El taxi. Yo necesito agua. I need water. Por favor. Por favor. Please. Un teléfono. Un teléfono. Good. ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Where? Yo tengo una maleta. I have a suitcase. Yo tengo un pasaporte. Yo tengo un pasaporte. Yo necesito una reserva. I need a reservation. Aquí, por favor. Here, please. Yo necesito una reserva. Yo necesito una reserva. Mi hotel. My hotel. Good. Like I said, we wanted to just push through all of these because um, ultimately what we want to do is um, like get through all of these ones and, and start doing the sentence structures because that's the ones that I'm going to really get, get wrong. <laughs> el tren. El tren. Uh, el aeropuerto. El aeropuerto. Yo necesito un boleto. I need um, a ticket. The money. El, el dinero. dinero. ¿Dónde está tu pasaporte? Where is your passport? You won't get on no train without your passport. Un autobús. Oh, what? Did I say train? Well, you sometimes you do need a train to get on the passport. I mean, you do need a passport to get on the train. <laughs> Save myself. A bus. Mi dinero. Mi dinero. Good. Doing good, guys. Let's go. Uh, the street. La calle. La calle. ¿Dónde está el museo? Where? Oh, where's? Oops. Where's the museum? I don't like that. The apostrophe thing. Let's keep it. I don't know. ¿Dónde está el supermercado? Where's the supermarket? ¿Dónde está el supermercado? Supermercado. En la calle. En la calle. Which means in the street. Yeah, cool. En el banco. En el banco. In the bank. In the bank. El hospital está aquí. El hospital está aquí. The hospital is here. En el museo. En el museo. I don't like how I said museo. En el museo. Better. Okay. So now we have restaurant and family has been open to us. So set the word for restaurant. El restaurante. El restaurante. La mesa. La mesa. Una mesa para dos personas. Una mesa para dos personas. Um, a table for two people. Uno, dos. One, two. Un restaurante español.
un restaurante español. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Para tres personas. Para tres personas. Por three people. Una mesa para tres personas. Una mesa para tres personas. I didn't say that very good. Una mesa para tres personas. Una mesa para tres per personas. Yeah. Okay. I don't really care for. I, I mean, I would do those things if I understood even what it was, but I don't really get it. So I'm gonna leave those for now. When we understand what all those challenges and stuff mean, we'll start doing those and make it really exciting. But for now, just trying to focus on getting past these sections. The meat, la carne. La carne. Uh, el queso. El queso. Una hamburguesa, por favor. Una hamburguesa, por favor. Um, a burger, please. Sandwich. El sandwich. El sandwich. Uh, el el pescado. pescado. Un sandwich de carne. Un sandwich. Sandwich. So this is where in English it looks like the same word, right? Falsos amigos. Because the pronunciation is very, not very different, but different. You don't say sandwich. Which I don't even think that's correct. I don't know. Maybe I say sandwich wrong. Sandwich. Sandwich. I say it wrong. I think the English way is sandwich as well, but that's how you supposed to say it in Spanish. Say it right, basically. <laughs> uh -huh. Meat sandwich. Una hamburguesa con queso. A burger with cheese. Con queso. Una hamburguesa de pescado. Una hamburguesa de pescado. I don't really like that word, hamburguesa. It's a little bit hard to pronounce because it's not natural for the. Because I don't. Getha. Although my name is in Gossi, my first name. It doesn't matter. Select the word for orange. La naranja. La naranja. Uh, coffee. El café. El café. The one bean. That's not. <laughs> that's not enough. Una taza. Una taza. Oh, a cup. Uh, el, juego. el jugo. El jugo. Mm. I said juego. Juego is to play, I think. Uh, el azúcar. El azúcar. Un vaso de agua. A glass of water. One glass of water. Water. Sin leche, por favor. Sin leche, por favor. So, con is with, sin, without. Sin leche, por favor. Un café, por favor. Un café, por favor. With those mic ones, I get really nervous because I'm like, okay, when, when it goes when it goes to that stop button, you know you're ready to go. <laughs> okay, uh, salt, la sal. La sal. The pictures don't help because like you already can see the pictures and it's like obviously that's a tomato, el tomate. Tomate, but I guess it's pronunciation you should um, be focusing on as well. El tomate. El tomate. Sí. Yo necesito la cuenta. Yo necesito la cuenta. I need the check. Una ensalada. Una ensalada. A salad. Yo necesito la cuenta. Yo necesito la cuenta. Con o sin azúcar. Con o sin azúcar. I like the way they say it. Listen. Con o sin azúcar. It sounds like con o sin. If you was just listening like this. Con o sin. Con o sin. Like C-O-N-O-S-I-N. Con o sin. But it's actually con o sin azúcar. So with or without sugar. Uh, let's pay attention to this. With or without sugar. Yo necesito pagar. I need to pay. Yo necesito pagar. Carne o pescado. Carne o pescado. That's like meat or fish. Oh, it tells you at the bottom as well the meaning. We've done level one for restaurante. 
family, let's go. El familia, o la familia. Mm. Uh, the word for car, el carro. El carro. I actually grew up um, in school learning car to be coche, in coche. Is that because of somewhere like a different part of Spain or something? If you know, like, leave it in the, um, in the description box. Leave it in the comments below. Like, what did you learn car to be in school, for example? Carro or coche? My teacher was from Barcelona. So maybe that has something to do with it. The house, la, la casa. casa. Tu padre. Your father. La, la madre. madre. Ella es inteligente. Ella es inteligente. It's very good to practice these ones before it gets to the bit where you have to actually say it. Because <laughs> then you be confident saying it. So she is intelligent. Él es elegante. He is. Él es elegante. Elegant. Thankfully, those words are similar, but sometimes that doesn't always happen. They're called falsos amigas. Mi carro. Mi carro. Mi carro. Él tiene un carro. Él tiene, él, él tiene un carro. He has a car. Good. Bueno. Um, we'll do the dog. El perro. El perro. Uh, the cat. El gato. El gato. Tu hermana. Your sister. We're going to use the capital there. Your sister. Tu hermano. Your brother. Tu hermano. Mi hermana. Mi hermana. I don't have a sister. Mi casa es grande. Mi casa es grande. My house is not big. <laughs> My house is big. Muy inteligente. Muy inteligente. Very... Un gato. Un gato. Un gato. I said that. Making me nervous. Okay, lesson three out of four. El abuelo. El abuelo. La familia. La familia. Mi esposo es inteligente. He is, he is. <coughs> My husband is intelligent. Mi esposo es inteligente. Perfecto. Perfecto, perfecto. Mi familia es grande. Mi familia es grande. Yeah, my family is Mi big. Mi apartamento es grande. Mi apartamento es grande. I don't have an apartment at a house and it's not big, it's small. My apartment is big. Mi esposa es inteligente. I don't have a wife. Mi esposa es inteligente. Yo tengo un abuelo. Yo tengo un abuelo. I do have a grandfather, but I don't think any of my grandfathers are alive. Right. Um, continue. Continuar. To continue. Select the word for bicycle. La bicicleta. Bicicleta. La bicicleta. Mi hija. Mi hija is my daughter. Muy interesante. Muy interesi interesante. Very interesting. Mi hija es inteligente. Mi hija is inteligente. I said is in English. <laughs> I didn't even realize. ¿Tú tienes un perro? ¿Tú tienes un perro? You have a dog? Do you have a dog? Mi hijo es inteligente. Mi hijo es inteligente. Mi hermano es interesante. Mi hermano es interesante. Yeah, my brother is interesting. Yo vivo en una casa. Yo vivo en una casa. I live in a house. Verdad, la verdad. Good, guys. So we hit level one on all of them. Uh, I don't know what to do now. Oh, we've got one more. Shocking. Didn't see that one. Select the word for blue. Azul. Azul. 
Say the word for clothes. La ropa. La ropa. Una tienda elegante. Una tienda elegante. An elegant store. Uh, la camisa. La camisa. <coughs> verde. Verde. My favorite color is verde. Una chaqueta. Una chaqueta. Jacket. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Yo quiero clean. una chaqueta. I want a jacket. Una tienda de ropa. Una tienda de ropa. It's like a clothes store, clothes shop. Brown, marrón. 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 Uh, el sombrero. El sombrero. Un vestido elegante. Un vestido elegante. An elegant dress. I need to start getting going actually so I can get some shoes for my dress from Primark. Ah. Gris. Oh, that's like five things at once. Gris. Yo necesito una camiseta. Yo necesito una camiseta. I need a t-shirt. Yo quiero comprar ropa. Yo quiero comprar ropa. I want to buy clothes. Un vestido marrón. <coughs> Un vestido marrón. Un vestido marrón. Este sombrero. A brown dress. Este sombrero. This hat. Oh. Okay. Level 3. I think we're on. Select the word for red. Rojo. Rojo. El abrigo. El abrigo. El abrigo. Ese sombrero. Ese sombrero. Ese, so este, o este, was this. Ese is that. Hat. Uh, the skirt. La falda. La falda. That doesn't even look like a skirt, so I had to guess. <laughs> Una But I need falda. Diferente. Una tienda diferente. A different uh, store. Un sombrero barato. Un sombrero barato. A cheap hat. Barato is cheap. Carro is expensive. Yo necesito un vestido rojo. Yo necesito un vestido rojo. Yo necesito un vestido rojo. Hey, I didn't even say rojo and you said that was right. Un sombrero caro. Don't play with me. Un sombrero caro. An expensive hat. Oh, I've said carro. It's not as carro. It's not rolled, it's not trilled R. By the way, I was wrong. <clears throat> carro is car, no? <laughs> uh, car. I don't remember now. I just did it. The watch. El reloj. El reloj. El reloj. El reloj. La cartera. La cartera. Demasiado caro. Demasiado caro. A expensive gift. Too expensive. I knew it was an A, because there is no A, but I didn't know. Um, I should have actually thought about that one. So it's too expensive. Demasiado. So demasiado is demasiado. like too or too much of something. Demasiado. I never used this in a sentence before. Demasiado. Okay, I want to remember that. Demasiado. Too expensive. Demasiado caro. Un Mar regalo para mi esposa. Uh, a gift. Because regalo is gift. For my wife. Un regalo para mi esposa. Un regalo. Un regalo. Un regalo. Un regalo. Right, I said it like nine times. Un cinturón marrón. Un cinturón marrón. A brown belt. Yo quiero ropa cómoda. Yo quiero ropa cómoda. I want 
comfortable clothes. Un cinturón caro. Un cinturón caro. Un cinturón caro. We were obviously speaking loud enough before. Demasiado carro. Too expensive. Now we know this. Well done. That was good. That was good because um, I didn't know. So wait, is this level one over and over again? I don't understand. Let's have a look and see what happens if I did this again. Yo soy una nina. I am. Yo soy un nino, because it's una would be a, with the very female, sorry. Yo soy una mujer. Yo soy una mujer. The man, the woman. El, El hombre. hombre. La mujer. Mujer. Soy un hombre. La niña. I am a man. Yo soy un, un hombre. hombre. You are a boy. That. El comer. You are a man. Tú. Tú eres, eres un hombre. hombre. Ella come una manzana. Ella come una manzana. Um, usted, usted es una, una mujer. mujer. Usted es. Why did I say you are you? Idiot. Tú eres una niña. Tú, Tú eres, eres una, una niña. niña. See, that's what I was trying to do in the other one. I don't know why I... Wow, that confused me a little bit. Ella es una mujer. Oh, you are, she is. Okay, I get it. Uh, you are a woman. Let's get this one right, yeah? Usted es una mujer. Okay. I get it. Ustedes. You are. Ustedes. The girl eats bread. La nina come pan. El. El. Bebe. bebe. Agua. Agua. Um, yo, yo. Soy. Una. una niña. niña. Yo. yo. Bebo leche. You eat apples. I'm going to say this one. Yeah, because it could have tricked you to say not to put the comes. Yo como manzanas. Yo como manzanas. Tú comes pan. Tú comes pan. You eat bread. Yo bebo. Tú bebes. El bebe. Oh. I drink. You drink. Oh. Yeah, you drink. He drinks. Okay, yeah. So we're going to go to level 2 and everything. How about that? Since they're really easy. Buenos dias. Good morning. Gracias. Noches. Hola. Mucho gusto. Hola. Gracias. Gracias. Adiós. Buenas noches.
yo no soy una niña. Sí. Sí. Es una niña. ¿Perdón? Nada. Lo siento. Lo siento. El pan, por favor. Nada, gracias. Nada, gracias. Tú. Hablas inglés. Sí. Disculpe. Un hombre español. Gracias. Disculpe. No hablo inglés. Hablo español. Un taxi. Un taxi. Pasaporte. El pasaporte. Por favor. Por favor. Una maleta. Yo necesito mi maleta. Un teléfono. Un teléfono. Mi teléfono. Aquí, por favor. Aquí, por favor. Yo necesito una reserva en la maleta. El hotel está aquí. El hotel está aquí. Yo tengo un pasaporte. El aeropuerto. El aeropuerto. ¿Dónde está tu pasaporte? ¿Dónde está? Pasaporte. En el tren. Un autobús. Un boleto, por favor. Un boleto, por favor. Por favor. Mi dinero. Tu dinero. Tu dinero. En la calle. Un banco. Un banco. El hospital. Hospital. Está aquí. ¿Dónde está el supermercado? El baño está aquí. El baño está aquí. The bathroom is here. El hotel está cerrado. Un
español. Yo necesito una mesa. Una mesa para tres personas. Una mesa para tres personas. Uno, dos. Yo necesito un restaurante. Yo necesito un restaurante. Una mesa para tres, por favor. Para dos personas. Para dos personas. Un restaurante español. Una. Hamburguesa, pescado, de pescado, un sándwich de carne, un sándwich de carne, una hamburguesa con queso, un hamburguesa de carne. Ah, oh, I didn't see the sign grade. <laughs> Con pescado. No. Un sándwich de carne. Un sándwich de carne. Con carne. Con carne. Un sándwich de pescado. Un sándwich de carne un café por favor una taza un vaso de agua por favor un vaso de agua por favor un de naranja un café sin azúcar un vaso un vaso un jugo de naranja un vaso de agua Sin sal. Con tomate. Yo quiero una ensalada. Yo necesito pagar. Yo necesito la cuenta. Uno o dos. Uno o dos. Uno o dos. Yo quiero pagar. Yo quiero pagar. I am getting tired. <laughs> we got two more to go. And we're done. My father is elegant. Mi padre es elegante. Mi carro. Tu casa. Tu casa. Tu madre. Mi padre. Mi madre es inteligente. Mi madre es inteligente. Ella tiene una casa. Ella tiene un perro. Ella tiene un perro.
Tú, hermano, yo tengo un hermano. Yo tengo un hermano. Mi, Mi carro, carro es, es bonito. bonito. Ella, ella tiene un gato. Mi casa es grande. Mi casa es grande. Muy elegante. Mi carro es bonito. Mi carro es bonito. Tú, abuelo. Mi esposa es inteligente. Mi esposo es inteligente. Es, es inteligente. Tú, apartame es bonito. Tu familia. Tu familia. Tu familia. Tu abuela. Tu abuela. Mi carro es perfecto. Mi esposo es inteligente. Muy interesante. Tú tienes un car, tú. Un carro. Yo vivo en una casa. Yo tengo un hijo, mi bicicleta, un esposo y una esposa, un es y una esposo y una esposa, mi hija, mi hija, un carro y una bicicleta. Azul. Una tienda. Yo necesito. Yo quiero una chaqueta. Yo quiero una chaqueta. Una chaqueta. Yo necesito ropa. Yo necesito ropa. Verde o azul. Un sombrero. Yo quiero comprar ropa. Yo necesito una camiseta. Yo necesito una camiseta. Un elegante vestido. De elegante. Crió. Marrón. Un vestido gris. Un vestido gris. Yo quiero este vestido. Yo quiero este vestido. Sí, este sombrero. Un sombrero caro. Un caro. Es caro. Abrigo. Un. Sombrero. Una Un tienda nivel. diferente. Una tienda diferente. I wasn't really thinking for that last Un one. vestido barato. Una falda. Un sombrero diferente. Un sombrero diferente. 
un sombrero. Yo quiero ese sombrero. Un sombrero rojo. Un regalo. Un reloj. Demasiado gris. Demasiado gris. Like too gray. Yo necesito una chaqueta cómoda. Yo necesito una chaqueta cómoda. Yo necesito una chaqueta cómoda. Um, I need a comfortable jacket. Mi camiseta favorita. Una cartera marrón. Un cinturón caro. Un cinturón caro. Un cinturón caro. Yo necesito un reloj. Finished. So that's going to be our goal, is to hit to level two <clears throat> on all of them. And I think that would that would help us pass checkpoints and get into the next se section without having to worry about it dropping down to one again and stuff like that. So yeah, let's see what our profile is saying now. So we've got level five, um, and turn away from level six. Plus 440 XP, so yeah, we've done pretty good, pretty good. Um, so I guess obviously it's not always going to be that easy and that quick. Sometimes it's going to be a bit harder. Ultimately, um, it's going to be a really good um, thing to do. And as I was going on, I was getting more tired and I made a, a mistake near the end there because of my brain was just sort of overthinking things and then not, not being go with my first instinct um, and but I didn't speak near the end of it so you could see the, the how quickly the, the thought process sort of becomes once you've done all the level one once you get to level two it gets a lot easier but it's harder if that makes sense so I recommend don't just hit number one like level one on all of them but hit level two because that did help me to like solidify my knowledge of that of that whole section so yeah, um, I feel really good about that and I think I will probably continue doing a video either today or tomorrow um, will be the next video but until then I hope that you guys hit the subscribe button, make sure that you subscribe, make sure you like the video if you do like the video, put a comment below if you're learning Spanish or if you enjoyed this video and you're waiting for the next sort of sequ sequence of, of the series um, and you know as excited to see the progress as I am. Um, I think Duolingo will be a really good help. Um, to my Spanish learning. I'm still going to do all the other things that I usually do. If you want me to do a video on what I use, what resources I use to learn Spanish and you know, how, I've, how I've been finding it, I will do a video on that as well. But until then, um, I'm tired, I'm trained and I've still got a whole day ahead of me because it's only five o'clock. But um, until next time guys, take care and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching.